In the previous part, when we were learning about the Azure repos, we found that there are two types of version control which are available under Azure repo and those were git and the tfec. So in this video we will learn git versus tfec. Let's start. Let's have a look on the agenda of this video. In this video we will be learning git versus tfec. It means distributed versus centralized. How git works how tfvc works so that you can identify which one you should use for your own development we will learn what are the common features in both of them and which one should be used for our next development project git is a distributed version control system and tfvc is a centralized version control system so i assume at this point you are totally confused what is the meaning of distributed version control system and what is the meaning of centralized version control system do not worry in the next slide we will clear this confusion and we will understand what is the exact meaning of distributed version control system and what is the exact meaning of centralized version control system before that let's understand how tfvc works so this is the repo this is the repository or we can say a container where ultimately we will put our code and just assume this repository is available on the azure devops server so we do not know the location but it is available somewhere at the azure devops so it means we can simply access this repository using azure devops portal okay now what happens suppose we got a new developer in the team this is the first developer and we have this developer in the team Ultimately, he has to work on the code which is available in the repository folder. You can say folder, container, etc. So, for now, just assume this is a big folder. Okay, and under this folder, the entire code is available. So, ultimately, this developer has to work on the code which is available in the repository folder. So, he has to make a connection with the repository. So, first, there are multiple ways. Either the code might be available on the developer machine or the code might be available on the repository so there are two ways in either case we can create a connection in between repo and the developer system so right now i'm assuming the code is available on the repository and a new developer has joined the team so what will happen first the developer will clone the entire code from the repository to his own local system how something like this so what will happen the entire code from the repository will come to the machine of the developer he will make some changes and he will simply send back those changes to the repository okay this is fine now we got a new developer in the team okay similarly what will happen he will also clone the entire code from the repository to his local system and he will make the changes and push them back to the repository similarly we have the third developer and in the same manner he will also get the code from the repository he will make the changes in the code and he will commit them and ultimately automatically the entire code will be sent back to the repository first developer got a file he just made some changes and ultimately he will commit those changes once he will commit the changes all the code changes which he has done in his local copy all the changes will be sent back to the repository automatically so this is how the centralized version control system works you might assume that in this approach you might have to face some problems what problems suppose both the developers are working on the same file so what will happen in that scenario and if both the developers are making changes at the same places since version control provide you a mechanism to merge the changes but if everything is happening on the same place and they will commit the changes so the entire code will send back to the repository and since other developers are also connected with the repository so the latest code will be sent back to the developers machine and everything will stop working now there is a difference in how git works so git is basically a distributed work system and let's understand how the git will work in the git also we have a common repository at this place i would like to clear a very big problem since the name of the git is distributed work system it means disconnected work system this doesn't mean that we have multiple repos on the server no we only have one repository on the server we can say one folder container 
or open a repo or repository whatever you want to say to this folder now let's see what happens when a new person come to the team so suppose we got a new developer in that team and to work on the code simply he has to first fetch all the code from the repository to his local system so what will happen let's see so the code is coming from repository to his local system and a local repo will be created on the machine of that particular developer so this is the big difference in centralized and the distributed work system so how he got a entire code from repository to his local system and now if he has to make any change he will simply make all the changes in this local repository so at this place both the repositories are disconnected to each other but ultimately we have to send all the codes to the main repository which is available on the server so what will happen at a place when developer think that he wants to send his entire code from his local repo to the repository he can push all the changes so basically these are some terms which are used while working with the git we call this feature as a push so he will push the code from his local repository to the main repository like this just like the first one we go two more developers and first they will fetch the entire code from the main repository to the local repository they will make all the changes in their local repository they can create several commits they can create five commits 10 commits and at a place when they think that they want to send the entire code from local repository to the server repository they can simply push the code from local to the server this is the main difference in between disconnected and the centralized in centralized when we were making any change in a file and we simply committing those changes then automatically all the change were sent back to the repository the main repository but here in the disconnected way all the changes will remain in your local repository and it is in your hand when you want to send all those changes from local to the main repository with the help of one command you can send all those changes from local to the main repository the disconnected means you do not have to depend on the main repository you can work independently on the local repo if you do not have internet connection then do not worry everything will be available in your local repo you can switch the branches in local repo you can make all the changes in local repo but at the time when you want to connect your changes from local to the main repo or main repo to the local repo since other developers might also be working on the code and they have sent some code from their local machine to the main repository so in that scenario you have to get the code from main repo to your local repo so this is happening vice versa you get the code from main repo and you send the code from your local repo to the main repo all the operations are working here in the disconnected manner so that is why we call it as disconnected version control system now let's understand what are the common features in both of them both the version controls are used to manage code both can be used by individual or team both provides branching system branching system is very important when you are working with the version control and both the version controls provide this excellent feature both provides history of changes so suppose on a particular file few developers are working and they are making some changes in that file with the help of one feature which is called history you can find out what are the all changes which are made by the team on that particular file not only the file only the entire code both are used to merge the code so there are chances that both the developers or more than two developers are working on a common file and the merging will happen automatically if the changes are not at the same place so suppose we have a file and in that file there are few lines suppose 20 lines the first developer is working on the suppose fourth line he is entering some code on the fourth line and the other developer is working at the last of that file since the changes are at the different place of the file so the version control will merge them automatically but if the changes are done at the common place suppose the first developer is making change at the fifth line and the second one is also making changes on the fifth line then in this scenario there will be a conflict and you can simply resolve those conflict there are several mechanisms for that we will learn that in the later part of this tutorial just for now 
both the version controls can be used to merge the code very well. Which one we should use? Operations in Git are fast as everything happens in distributed mode. Why? So since in the Git we are connected just to the local repository, we have to commit all the changes in the local repository. So operations are fast as compared to the centralized version control. So suppose I want to switch my branch from uh, branch A to branch B. So since we are working on the local repo, the branch will be switched automatically and that will be very fast. But if you are working with the centralized one, then if you will switch your branch, the entire code from server will come to your local machine. So we can say since the entire code is traveling from server to your local machine, the operation might be little bit slow. So using these approach, we can say operations in Git are fast as compared to the centralized one. In Git, an entire replica is available on developer's machine. What's the meaning of this? So whatever is available on the main repo, which is on the server, that will also be available on the local machine of the developer. From the local machine of the developer, he can find out all the changes. He can view all the operations, all the commits, all the histories, all the branches. Everything will be available on the local repo. But in TFS, in TFVC, this feature is not available since everything is managed in a centralized way so the replica of the code will not be available in the tfvc ultimately the code will be available but all other features just like the history the branches all these things will not be available in the tfvc while working with the git you will see everything is coming two times so suppose you have created a branch or the name of the branch is master you will see there will be two master branches one will be from the server and the second master branch will be on your on your local repository if these things are not clear to you at this place do not worry in few upcoming videos we will learn all these things one by one and in very simple manner merging pull request code review is easy in git git is one of the most used version control by the software team and if you still have doubts which one to choose, then go for the Git. In the next part, we will create a project in the Azure DevOps and we will learn how to work with the Git and TFVC on the repo in a practical manner. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.